Hey, that is sick, though. That is a sick flip on how they do that. You heard about the new Monsanto thing? Yeah. They how, how they how they got yeah, like that? Yeah. Basically, it's the Monsanto Protection Act, where Monsanto, you know, they they control all the seeds, you know, everywhere. And they even control it to the extent where they, they say flat farmers can even recycle their own seeds because Monsanto owns the seeds. And now any kind of outside interest group that wants to speak out against Monsanto is basically put to the side because of this new protection act. So it's like they can't even nothing can be brought to the courts because they're protected for a number of a period of time. I think it's for a year, isn't it? Yeah, it's for a year right now. But I mean, but once once the, once the GMO is out there, what can you do? Exactly. <laughs> you got the people from my son work for the FDA. You know, that's the government and private yeah. corporations just that marriage working together all the time. So you know, it's deep, man. It's deep. So. Nah, that shit's sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most challenging thing. And, and you see the contradiction, you know, in the governmental response because you got, you know, Barack Obama on this side and he's doing this. Meanwhile, his wife is over here talking about childhood abuse right. and you know, all of these different health concerns and whatnot. And you see that contradiction and it makes it confusing to the people. And, and, and a lot, um, it's very difficult to, how can you say, like, centralize what it is that we should be doing. You know what I mean? Because I think for, I don't know what the general consensus is. I know a lot of people I come across tend to be, they tend to realize there's something wrong with the genetically modified stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they know, like, the older generation particularly. You know, they may still gravitate towards it out of the convenience aspect. So like, you know, seedless watermelons, seedless right. grapes, things of that nature. They might still gravitate towards it because they don't feel like spitting out seed and being lazy. Yeah. But generally, I think they tend to realize that something is not right. You know what I mean? So, um, in that respect, it's like now you see that the research and things is backing the assumption that something is not right, right, right as far as the negative health effects that it has on the body right you know but on the same accord you see the government is like co-signing all of this nonsense and they pushing it out there and they making this stuff more available and the natural foods less available so it's like what, what are you supposed to do with that for? you know that's that's the sad thing about it. It's like that's why I like the farming projects and the, you know the community agricultural projects that um, I see starting to resurface a lot more in the urban communities too. Yeah, you know, that's it's very very important. You know, mm -hmm. uh, since I'm on this camera, you know, I'm a, I'm a plug React Radio because we got a community gardening project coming up uh, on April the weekend of April 20th, the 21st. 22nd, you know, uh, and we've been uh, announcing that we got a radio program also, myself and uh, our co-host with Dr. Kokai, we host the radio program, uh, which is called uh, Holistic Academics 101, which comes on We At Radio, that's 1480 AM. Really? I didn't even know that, Doctor. You plug it one more time. 1480 AM on, or, or weactradio.com online for the live stream. That's Fridays from 7 to 8 PM. Wonderful. Wonderful. Friday, yes. Yeah. So My man's on a... Here. 
Peace, peace, was peace. here, uh, Morgan Matthews, yeah. co-hosting the show with us last week when Dr. Kokai yeah. was out. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, yeah. brother. Yeah. Anything you want to plug, get your name known out here? I'm about uh, to stream it, we stream it live, man. Yeah, I'm Morgan Matthews, uh, I'm a student here at Howard University studying health management with my own focus on naturopathic medicine. Uh, but nonetheless, we're gravitating towards brothers like Dr. Yu and Dr. Kokai Patterson is uh, nothing more than a testament to the law of attraction and we need to make sure the youth is conscious as well we don't need any more inter inter intergenerational gaps man everybody right can be connected on the same tip on this health thing man. damn right peace peace. <laughs> peace peace each one teach one dmv continue to tune in and live at howard university peace